Um, and I'd like to introduce our new Cashmere Rouge Lacquer. And it's a two-part um, lipstick or lip color. It's not really lipstick. It's a liquid lip color. Um, so in one end, you have your liquid lip color. And this is the shade uh, Stunning Scarlet, which is what I have on today. And then on the other end, you have your clear lacquer top coat um, that, goes, that goes over your color. So you've got an ultra pigmented color and then the clear lacquer. The, it's a moisturizing top coat and it's going to lock the color in place and feel comfortable for hours. Um, it's transfer proof, smudge proof, and feather proof, and it is a vegan formula. Um, I have gotten to wear it for a few days now. I um, haven't had it too long, but I've gotten to wear it for a few days. Um, and the number one thing I will tell you I notice about this is a lot of long-wearing formulas, even the longest-wearing formulas, for me, when I eat, it wears away, especially on the inside edge of the lip. And I always have to reapply just to even it out. This actually, it doesn't stay like perfect like it looks right now, but it still looks really good and very even, even after I eat. Um, so, so definitely going to get a much longer wear out of this um, than, than even the longest wearing um, lipsticks that I've tried. Um, we'll also say that you definitely are going to want to use both sides. I, um, I was a little tempted at first. I was like, oh, I'm going to try it. I'm just going to do just the color, just the color itself, and, and leave it as sort of a matte satin, you know, a, a softer finish without the, the gloss. Um, but it does feel a little funny without the gloss. So you do need the clear lacquer to seal it in. So this is going to be a high shine uh, finish to this. Um, comes in six shades. Um, so again, this was the Sunning Scarlet. This is the Ravishing Rose. I want to make sure I'm opening up the right end to show you the color. There we go. That's the Ravishing Rose. Um, and I am going to stick here in the video. I did um, get a photo of the swatches on my arm. I'm actually not doing them today because this stays so well. It was quite an ordeal to get those swatches off of my arm um, the other day. So um, when I did those, so I will tell you, I mean, obviously they're going to, the staying power on the arm is going to be much, much more than on the lips just because it's different skin, different pH balances, moisture levels, all of that. Um, I will say that you're going to want um, probably some makeup remover at the end of the day, unless you're just really, really going to let it just wear off um, into the next morning. But the makeup remover wipes and the waterproof, the two-phase that you shake up, waterproof lip and eye makeup remover, both work um, really, really well. So I will stick in. I have um, the, the picture with the swatches. Uh, I have a little video where I showed swiping my finger across the swatches and the color does not budge. Um, it does almost look like it's wet because the, the clear lacquer kind of spread a little bit. But the color didn't budge. The color didn't transfer. There was nothing on my finger. Um, and then I, I even did a video of my second attempt to wash off the, the swatches with soap and water um, just to show how well um, it lasts. So then you do definitely want to have um, a good makeup remover to, to take that off any remnants at the end of the day. Um, another cool option to, to use in conjunction with these is um, either the Glimmer uh, lip scrub, that uh, lip polisher that is kind of like a prep step because you want to have nice smooth lips before you put this on because you want it, you know, to get a nice even application. Um, but also if you use the vitamin C um, lip scrub and um, overnight lip mask at night, the lip scrub is going to help get anything off that just didn't come off during the day. And then the um, overnight lip mask is going to um, just really They'll leave the lips feeling nice and soft and smooth the next day for a great application. Um, so anyway, this is um, Beautifully Bare. And I love all of these colors. I even love, I do love the, the Stunning Scarlet, and I'm not a fan necessarily of cooler reds, but I do. Um, it's just barely on the orange side of red, so it still um, is a really good color, even if you like cool colors. Um, we've got Marvelous, which I think is going to be my go-to shade. 
um, just because that's that's usually where I land is in the purpley, mauvey, brown colors there. And let's see, two more. We've got uh, per Pink Fection, which does look a little bit like a cotton candy pink, but it really has a very nice natural, um, like light natural lip color. Looks really, really nice. And it's got a little bit of shimmer in the color, so really beautiful shade. And last but not least is Berry Bliss. And this is your nice deep berry red. So again, right here in this section of the video, I'll, I'll stop this recording and I will insert um, the, the picture, the um, video showing the not smearing and the video showing the, um, the not washing off part. Uh, but that is the new Cashmere Rouge Lacquer um, Dual Lip um, set and, and absolutely just really love this. Love the look, love the wear, love the feel. Like I said, the color alone feels a little weird, um, but once you get the lacquer on it, it's just a nice moisturizing feel. It just feels really, really good um, on the lips. Uh, 